Hi, in this video we're going to learn about combinations. And the particular problem we're going to look at is selecting defective and non-defective parts from a bin. So let's take a look at the particular problem here. Um, I have a bin that contains 50 parts. Three of them are defective, 47 non-defective. I'm happy that I have more non-defective. That's a good sign. So let me draw here a bin. Okay, just imagine this is a bin. And there's 50 parts in here. Okay. And of those 50 parts, I can break them down into two categories. Um, I have three parts that are defectives, and I have 47 parts that are non-defectives. And that takes care of the first sentence. Um, what I'm going to do next is take a sample of six parts from this bin, and I'm going to sample them without replacement. This is a very important word. And what I mean here, imagine you have part P1, P2, P3. I'm going to pull a part out. Okay, let's just say this was part P13. When I pull that part out, I'm not going to put it back in before I select the next part again. So when P13 comes out, he's out. And then to select the next part, I have 49 choices. Okay. So what I'm trying to find out in this problem is how many samples of size 6, I want to pull out 6 parts, would contain exactly um, 2 defective parts. And since I'm pulling out a sample of size 6, the other 4 would be non-defectives. Okay, so um, I'm really looking at combinations here. And um, I have a combination going over here with choosing two of the three defective parts. And I have another combination here of choosing four of the 47 non-defectives. The notation that the book uses and that you see quite often in other texts, C for combination, three is N, the total number of parts you have, and two is R, the number you want to select. So identically over here, this is C, 47 is N, and four is R. Another notation that I particularly like is the binomial coefficient. This can also be written as 3 choose 2, that's how this is read, and this is also um, can be written as 47 choose 4. Okay, so whenever I do compute these numbers, um, this is going to be the number of ways I can select 2 out of the 3 to defective and 4 out of 47 non-defective. And if I want the total number of ways of getting 2 out of here and 4 out of here by the multiplication rule, I'm just going to multiply these two quantities to get my final answer. So let me write it out, you know, um, more completely and then explain a little bit about the relationship between the permutation and the combination. So yes, the answer to this problem is 3 choose 2 times 47 choose 4, okay? And let's use fa factorial notation. Um, by definition, this is just 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 1 factorial multiplied by 47 factorial divided by 43 factorial times 4 factorial. Okay, and if I do multiply that all out, let's just do that right now, I would get 535,000 and 95. Okay. And maybe that's all you want to know and you're happy with that, but I think it's important to see how this formula right here for a combination relates to the permutation formula that we did earlier in this chapter. So if you see right here is actually the permutation formula. This is the number of ways to choose four items out of 47 where order does matter. Okay, so this would be the permutation of 40, P47-4, uh, but the combination, we get this extra 4 factorial here, and that's because order doesn't matter. So there's four parts that I pulled out, and I don't care what order I pulled them out. So to get rid of that extra number of arrangements, I'm going to divide by the number of ways I can uh, rearrange those four elements. So let's imagine again that you weren't even thinking about formulas. Let's just think again, I have, I have 47 uh, non-defective parts and I want to pull out four of them. So this is part one, part two, part three, part four. Okay, so for the first part, I would have 47 choices. Okay, great. Since I'm sampling without replacement, uh, I'm not going to put that part back in and I would have 46 
choices for the second part I pull out, 45 for the third, and then 44 for the fourth. And actually, this is P47.4. Uh, this is the number of ways I can pull out four items out of 47 where order does matter. But because, again, think I have these four non-defective parts. Let's just imagine, um, let's put them over here. I got like part, let's say, N4, N41, uh, N31, or N2. Um, the way I pulled out these four items, maybe I pulled uh, four out first, 40, 41 second, you know, 31 third. It doesn't matter. I just needed these four items. So the number of ways I can rearrange these four items is four factorial. And that's where on the bottom here we're dividing by four factorial. So that's what makes this a combination. And notice that, I mean, these two formulas are exactly the same. And this, I'm just kind of thinking out piecewise how I'm building the formula. So this is still a combination. It just, to me, makes more sense where all the parts are coming from then. So as a recap, uh, we did a problem where we talked about combinations. Uh, to find the total number of arrangements then, we used the number of com combinations of the defective and non-defective and multiplied them together. They get the total number of options. And then in this last part, I'm just showing you the connection between um, in an earlier chapter when we did permutations and now dividing by what is always going to be R factorial to get your combinations. So um, I'm sure we'll eventually uh, talk again about more of these. And uh, again, this was an example on combinations.